find the freaking book. Ten years could be right on this game. Yeah, something unlocked upstairs. Yeah, around over here. Hey, if y'all who are in the uh, the Steam um, the Steam uh, stream, you can always uh, on my uh, Twitch stream. Uh, that's where you know I stream on there uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. But this Twitch stream, JWolf8200, feel free to uh, check it out. Up to you. All right. So now we should be able to do this. Uh, Twitch is for wimps and people not anti-tech like myself. Steam fanboy, <laughs> nice. What did I just do? I don't know what I'm doing. This is weird. Uh, Steam for life. Kind of funny how all my old school games are taking like one minute or less to install. The longest process is me entering. <laughs> so, uh, what do you use, Thaco? Or what have you used before if, if you don't like Twitch? So this is this. Uh, do I look through something? Box of matches. I just swapped CD2. Nice. <laughs> so that doesn't seem to be unlocking anything. I don't know what it keeps showing me. Literally have to know Latin to beat this game. <laughs> Twitch is terrible. There's nothing wholly better than Twitch, yeah. Put that plate in there, which means you'd think that it's shining on something, right? Something straight across. <laughs> I and one. Or I and L, actually, yeah. I and L, right? So what, what, one ally. So what is, what is lighting up here? I 
I would venture to guess, though, old games, <clears throat> there's probably cracks that you can get pretty easily to crack it open. Um, but, I, well, you know, I don't know. I would just assume. So that looks a lot like this thing, which makes me think that... So what was it again? What was the... Yeah, there. There is. It's just, I found my old CDs, and I'm like, sweet, let's reinstall and play some old games. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Just the one play. Well, pirates don't have to. <laughs> Gotta find the right Is that it? No? Okay No? Okay Trial and error, I guess. Oh, that was it, evidently. Oh, no, it, it just shut a little bit. They just go back out. Yeah. God damn it. That's irritating. The what madness is going on? I gotta figure out. Okay, so. Bam, 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 bam. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so no, that's not good. All right, so that was the next one. That seems like that would be good enough, right? I mean, I should be able to make out where the freaking thing is. Yep, there we go. I didn't see that could come out earlier. Jeez. Let's find your stupid book. Alexei Tokenov's Notes and Sketches from the Frozen North. Turn the freaking page. April 15th, 1947. I loaded my bags and provisions onto a sled pulled by several sturdy healthy beasts and left the Romansburg Monastery, headed northwards in search of the mysterious peoples inhabiting the vast desolate wastes of the Siberian tundra. My superiors had conferred on me the mission of evangelizing those pagan tribes from the heathen shaman beliefs. I traveled under an assumed identity, 
that of a lowly trapper. I had to be wary of the agents of the state and of the military, for whom any religious activity is suspect. They, for their part, traveled the length and breadth of eastern Siberia, trying to convince the vill villagers of the deb debatable benefits of collectivism. It took me several weeks to, ac to accustom myself to the unfamiliar harshness. Harness? 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 Harsh? Harshness? I found no dogs in Romansburg, and I had to make do with the uh, Yuki's purchased from a hunter. Uh, <clears throat> the Yuki is related to both seals and dogs. In the wild, the Yuki lives on riverbanks. It is an easy capture for the trapper, as its gluttony is well documented. In winter, it gorges itself on orange salmon, a prey that often has to share in the wild with the fierce Siberian bear, another creature very partial to the fish. The Siberian bear. The Yuki. Uh, um, once tamed, the Yuki is an affectionate but whimsical animal. It resists all forms of discipline, discipline training, and only if there are no dogs available is it used to pull sleds. Certain Arctic peoples, however, seem to have better mastered the secret of their domestication, and the Yuki is central to their daily activities. Of all the peoples of all the peoples who inhabit these godforsaken regions, I find the yokels the most fascinating person. Perhaps that is why I headed for their region where I was most likely to encounter them. Yokel religious mask. Representing the soul messenger who guides the dying to the other world. The yokels are feel fearful of him. Yuki, I was looking at old school CD of Yu-Gi-Oh when you said that and I was like, wait, what? They're goofily cute, it's true. Uh, the journey was long and dangerous. It wasn't until October 27th, 1947, that for the first time I made contact with the yokels. I have spent long months living among them. I have come to know them and to understand them for who they are. I soon abandoned my, any notion of converting them. I applied myself instead to the study of their mores and customs. Moves? Moves and customs. So little is known about the yokels, less than is known of any inhabitant of the frozen north. Today, they live far, far away at the farther, farther most, farther most, farther most, thenceforth, farther most tip of the Siberian tundra. Because of their remoteness and their inhospitable climate, the yokels have remained small in number, overlooked by the scientific community and the Soviet governmental machine. The only documents available before my departure were several drawings, notes, and photographs taken a hundred years ago by a Russian explorer, Marie Budurnov. It is to her we owe what little of the yokel people and its culture is of the... is known of the yokel... It's like, did they intentionally... Have this guy write like this? Yokels. Moors. The yokels hark back to the last ice age. Curiously, traces of their presence have been found in Western Europe, more precisely in the heart of the French Alps in the prehistoric caves of Val de Laine. This suggests that over centuries, they undertook a long migration towards the extreme north of the globe. Oh, hey, Bcash, how's it going? Day late and a B dollar short. Nice. The sacred harfang, the bird, is often inseparable from the yokel shaman. It seems to be considered, in turns, as his friend, representative, and even as his incarnation. Lemmings congregate on the open plains of Siberia. They feed on grains and small fruit that they store in their holes to face the scarcity of the winter months ahead. Lemmings dig deep tunnels in the ice to escape their predators. The hunters they fear, most fear are harfangs, who seem to find lemmings something of a delicacy. Uh, they're yo yukels and mores. <laughs> no, they're... T they're... T they're... <laughs> whatever I want them to be. I, I'll, I'll use whatever words I want. On several occasions during my journey, I encountered traces of yukels society far to the west of the areas we know today along forest trails i discovered small piles of carefully piled stones altars stones altars on which yukul hunters made ritual offerings to one of their pagan gods 
He's a good drew. He drew very well. Look at the look at the little thingamajiggers that I can't remember their names. Him. <clears throat> We now know the reason for the Yukul's migration, log migration. <sighs>